What's going on everybody? My name is Arun. Welcome to my channel. This is a series of tutorials on Linux operating systems and in this tutorial we'll be looking at the Linux file system in detail. Alright, so any Linux distribution you take, there is a particular pattern in which the folders are kept inside and each folder has a particular meaning and they contain certain files, certain files and uh, certain files. Alright, so we'll be looking at, we'll be looking at the file system and that will help us understand the overall ar architecture and it makes people familiar, familiar with what is actually present in the operating system. Okay. And having a knowledge on file systems helps you to debug the problems and find out, find out errors if at all you're installing up files and folders uh, software in the future. Alright. So let's get started. So if I were to open up my home folder over here. By default, just like what you might see in a Linux Windows distribution, Windows operating systems, you have some standard folders. Now, in Linux, the folders are not named as folders; they're called as directories. All right. Uh, all, all right. So let's get let's get started. So as usual, uh, just like in Windows, you have a desktop uh, folders for folders or directories for desktop documents, downloads, music, pictures, public templates, and videos. This folder over here, host, I, I created that, so but it does not, it's not present by na natural. But if one wants to go in detail and have a look at the entire structure, you have to go to the file system. And now in this file system, if you see, there are so many folders over here, directories over here. Each of them has its own meaning. So let's uh, let's me let us walk through as to what what it actually means. Okay, so for that I've opened up this uh, standard Unix file system hierarchy web, uh, image from Wikipedia. You can find many of these images. Okay, so let's look at this. This first partition over here. Okay, so uh, there you go. So this first partition over here, bin over here, is called as the binary folder. And this contains the commands, uh, all the standard commands that one might use in an operating system. All right. So they call this bin, it's because it's a short form for binaries. And all these commands over here are, the are very commonly used uh, commands. Uh, commands, And a, these are made by compiling codes and compiling programs and creating an executables. These are nothing but executables that run as commands in the terminal. All right, we'll talk about terminal in the future videos. ETC folder, which is present over here. Oops, uh, ETC is actually uh, present over here. Is the actually the configuration files for the system has the configuration files. All these files have some uh, have some values or uh, data uh, data like uh, data. And these files are important. If these files have been modified, then the system function system will not function properly. All right. So you have to keep that in mind. Sbin is the short form for the system binaries folder, and these executables are only accessible by the root user or the primary user. In comparison to Windows, all the other user accounts come under user or the standard users, whereas the system administrator equivalent of that system administrator equivalent in Linux and Unix is called as a root user. So these files are something that only the root user can do reuse. Just like how a partition file part system partition you do in Windows is only through a root user or with a normal user with the root administrator privileges. These files, I mean, these commands have to be exec. Uh, these commands and these system binaries can are executable only by the root user or by a system normal user with uh, super user super user permissions, other root user permissions. All right. So those are the that that's how it goes. And this user file folder over here, directory over here, is a replica of the of the file structure above. Similar to the files here like bin, etc, uh, etc and all of this, those similar folders will also be present inside and the purpose of them is pretty much the same. The only few differences is that in the binaries, the most commonly used user commands are kept, not the system commands. Include has the header files, uh, header files for the C and C++ based programs that are, uh, that are built, that are built, alright. Uh, and lib includes object files, binaries files, and library files that will be used by other software and packages. Local uh, folder has the 
the has the collection of uh, so as the software local software collection and uh, the software data can uh, files are split between sub directories like share sbin man lib and all of that share folder over here contains data uh, contains executables or by uh, libraries or files or data that is shareable across all architectures or all user accounts like that that's present over here man folder is actually the man, has actually the short form for the manual manuals folder so the file file commands and documentation are all present inside this man folder over here likewise there is a folder called as var which is actually the variable data files folder where when you run a pro software or a program or even the operating system itself itself what what it uh, the sometimes you might have to store files temporarily and then remove them afterwards or when you run the data files or run programs in the memory sometimes some data gets stored in the hard disk for a temporary period of time or when you run some updates you, you want the other systems to uh, stop and halt so in those kind of cases the data gets stored in these fo fo folders over here obviously one of them is temp which is the folder for temporary files so these files are kept inside the for in this folder and when you uh, sh shut the machine down and the, uh, or reboot the machine all the value files you kept in them are cleaned cleaned and uh, this contains uh, uh, tasks that are being uh, waiting or waiting to be processed this contains uh, the data, variable data for install packages options so to speak and the log, this is the log folder similarly this log file uh, for, uh, folder or directory contains the log files that are you that are kept in track so if you are installing your operating system or updating your operating system and you don't want any other operating software to be installed let's say then the log file will be created that prevents other operating other programs from installing or updating like that so let's say if you are updating you should you don't want any other operating work to use or work work upon log file uh, you might some programs might create log files so that other operating operations are shut down temporarily so those operations files are kept inside this log folder over here all right and then you have this lib folder which is the short form for libraries the data that are being modified by your programs during the runtime those are kept over here and the cache obviously people know this it's just that if your application store needs certain data to run faster and it gets temp and uh, it stores in cache so that to extend the same up program has to be loaded it loads a little faster all right so those are the subcategories in var similarly there are other files like dev for i mean other directories like dev which contains device files or uh, the device files which are used used to access device external devices like external devices or even internal devices so partitions in your hard disk or is another uh, other devices like your keyboard or a mouse or external usb usb devices all of them are accessible through the, uh, through these the files in, through the de device files inside all right again a very important this is the home folder which contains all the directories for each and uh, which contains the directories for each and every user okay and inside that inside that the whatever we saw earlier like the desktop software and other stuff are present inside I mean so desktop uh, documents uh, pictures images and all of them are present inside lib contains the libraries and modules just like what we saw earlier all right mnt stands for the mount folder which can which is the play which is the folder in which you will be mounting up all your external devices like hard disks or hard hard disks or uh, usbs all right there's an also an equal and uh, also another folder called as um media media and you can use uh, media mount folder is more for file systems as since devices that have an equivalent uh, file system like a provision all right whereas media is just for any any non files any uh, device that does not have a file system but you can pl place files and folders inside options opt folder is actually a folder where you can install optional software those software that are not too crucial for the operating system to run but act but act as a, act as an additional ones and then proc proc folder is contains the kernel information files and the process information files root folder is actually the equivalent of the 
is actually equal to the home folder but this is especially for the root user nothing more than that only the root user can access into it and inside this home folder you have the home folders for each and every other user and inside each and every home folder you have uh, you have the all those files that we uh, we saw earlier like the desktop documents downloads music pictures and videos and all all right now along with this uh, if you take a new operating systems new linux distribution you might find a little more diff slightly different files okay but uh, essentially essentially the architecture is the same now if you look at it cd rom is for the uh, readable uh, i mean for it's for the cd uh, means for the cd devices dev we saw lib sometimes the library folders divide into two categories like normal lib library folder and then 64 bit architecture libraries we saw these uh, sometimes uh, executable files are also kept in run which uh, which have some have another uh, have another meaning and uh, so this snap folder is for keeping files for the, that are installed to snap installers this this is for other, um, there are other ones like sys as well I'm not sure about what SRV here but system files are kept inside as 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 sys folder over here and all others are nothing but shortcuts for all the existing files that are present inside and if I were, and uh, these x indic these x marks indicate indicated over here means that uh, these uh, these folders are not accessible by me the user so I cannot go inside I don't because I do not have the permissions as others I can go inside and have a look no problem no problem with that but I cannot go and modify so if, for instance I don't have any permissions to go inside this I can, uh, so that's about it so that's about this in this video uh, this is your file, uh, stru file structure next in the next video I we, what we'll do is uh, I'll open up the terminal so that uh, I'll open up the terminal so that we can access these folders, uh, access these folders and uh, navigate through them one by one. All right. So that's all I have for you all in this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time in another interesting video. Till then, take care.